Hi, I'm Eddie Shipsides from Mabel Cinetech in New York, and this is the second part of our two-part series on the HPX 2700, or the new Panasonic VariCam. In this section, we're going to cover just the little details that make the camera all that much more interesting and, and, and improved. So, start off, obviously, in the last section, we saw the, the P2 cards. We have five card slots here. But below that, right away, we're going to see a couple things. Time code in, time code out, gen lock in. But also, we have something called HDSDIB and monitor out. HDSDIB, there's also a pair HDSDIA in the back. Uh, these two are always going to be the same. And then the monitor out is also another HDSDI. This, this, this one in particular will always be an interlaced signal, either in HDSDI or in video. So the down converter is built into this particular output. A menu, a menu switch can change between those two. HDSDIs A and B are on the, on the back side of the camera. Here's A and there's B. I don't know if you can see that. HDSDIs A and B can be any output you like, 720, 50, 720, 50, 994. 1080 60i, 1080 2398 PSF, 1080 24 PSF. These are actually true 24 outputs if you like, if you want them to be. This is a new thing for the Panasonic cameras, and you can integrate them right into 2398 PSF uh, studio system if you have that going for you. On the back of the camera, of course, we still have the remote control port for uh, working with the RC10G paint box. This is a new feature uh, for this for the Vericam line. It's a great paint box to work with it. Also, we have a FireWire output here on the back. The FireWire output will stream DVC Pro HD when you're in that mode. Of course, the audio is in and out as well. Going to the side of the camera, we saw this before. We, of course, have the LCD display, uh, and, we all, and we, have our, we have our audio controls here. We have four channels of audio, like on HDX900. We have a stereo input in the front, and as well as two inputs in the back. We can route this different ways. Uh, which is, again, a benefit over the two channel inputs of the Vericam. Our, our, our controls for playback have actually been moved up here instead of on the top of the camera. Otherwise, this is pretty much the same system. The thumbnail controls are obviously here for working with thumbnails. But otherwise, we're used to seeing this sort of, this sort of interface. Uh, something that I really like on this camera that is a small change, but it actually makes a big benefit, is the filter wheel system. Now, we're all used to having uh, four color filters and four NDs on here. What they've actually done is sort of limited the color filters to just the, the three you probably most use, the 3200, 5300, and 5600, and they've actually added a, an additional ND filter to the, the second wheel. And this is a single stop or one half ND filter, which would allow for the, to combine the filters from the front, the front row to create a single stop, double stop, triple stop reduction in light. This is a great ND change. Just a, just on the, actually, on the second filter and the, and the D position, you'll see a one half ND. Really cool. Going to the front, the viewfinder is actually going to ship with the same standard viewfinder, or you can, in the future, purchase a color viewfinder to go with this camera. Panasonic is producing their own color viewfinder. The uh, existing ones do work on it, but the camera does put out a color signal. The original Vericam did not do this, but you will be able to put a 1080 color viewfinder on here, uh, and that will work on as well uh, work on other Panasonic cameras as well. It's very cool that they finally included in that. Moving up to the lens. Now this is a standard B4 mount lens system, of course, but what they've actually done in the software is included an uh, addition of chromatic aberration correction. Now this is a system that will actually allow for Panasonic to rate lenses and, and add a chromatic color change fixes to them. And this is a great thing they've included and actually will improve the overall image quality of your, uh, of your lens. Well, that's it for the outside of the camera. Internally, there's a lot of changes. The menu systems are really improved, it's simpler, easy to get around. I could really go on for, for hours, but what's important is they've actually improved the gamma modes of the camera. The film rec is included from the very camp. The video rec is there also. Also is included the uh, HD, SD, and film-like modes that you find in the HDX900. So it's all in the camera. We also have tons of PC functionalities that you didn't have before in any other camera that we couldn't even go into in this, in this, in this uh, demo. But please come in, check out the camera, we'll talk to you about how this camera can work for you. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.